Baseball's back, you guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel, Brian Talks Baseball, where I'm Brian and we talk about baseball. Guys, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I just haven't been super motivated, if I can be honest, to make videos talking about baseball. Um, the fact that we are amidst and also the epicenter of a global pandemic, the fact that we are in a time of widespread civil unrest, um, the fact that baseball is a complete shit show right now in and of itself, but here we are, it's opening day, baseball is going to be played today. Um, I wish I was a little bit more excited, but I want to talk about a few things um, that are keeping me relatively excited. I want to talk about a few things that are still giving me pause. Um, and I want to talk about just the state of this channel and baseball in general and what I feel like I need to do before things can get back to normal and we're talking about baseball and sabermetrics and all that. So first of all, you know, like I said, baseball is just completely in shambles right now. We have players who are opting out of the season. We had an ugly public labor dispute between, you know, the commissioner and the owners and the players. We have players testing positive, Freddie Freeman, Austin Meadows, Juan Soto, most notably today, Yasiel Puig lost his contract for, you know, testing positive, drawing a positive test. Um, the testing protocols seem to be a little bit weird. There's a 48 hour lead time between the testing and the results. Um, it just doesn't seem conducive to having these players being around each other all the time. Um, but there are a couple of things that are keeping me from, you know, completely abandoning Major League Baseball totally. And that is the players and the league and the organizations taking stands and, and, and standing in solidarity for things like the Black Lives Matter movement and the protests and, you know, wearing masks and supporting science and all of that. Um, I think it's so important for the players and the organizations and the teams to be doing that, especially the teams and the organization, because Major League Baseball is not immune to these issues. Systemic racism exists within Major League Baseball. You know, it might not be readily there for you to see, but when you're watching a broadcast, you know, pay attention to the broadcasters and who they say is playing the game with flair and, you know, who's a hot dog, right? Pay attention to who they're saying, you know, plays the game hard and is Bush League, right? You'll start to see the correlation between who they're talking about when they say those things, right? I think it's also so important for the players to come out and share their stories um, as they navigate the world that we all live in together, right? Just because, you know, when they've made it to the highest level and they drive a nice car and they live in a mansion and they make millions of dollars, that doesn't mean that once they become a civilian in society, once they become, you know, a person on the street, that they become immune to these issues, right? And it's so important for them to come out and, and speak. And, you know, it's not a matter of politics, right? This is a matter of human rights. This is a matter of, these are matters of public health, right? So when I see people and fans coming out and saying, you know, shut up and play or keep politics out of sports, I think that's so ridiculous because these players are human beings. And like I said, they, they live in the same world that we do and they have the same issues that we do. Um, so I think it's ridiculous for us to expect them to keep their mouth shut on these issues and just stay quiet and entertain us. And I think there's a huge irony in the fact that it's the same people, it's the same group of fans, right, who, who look down on the, you know, advanced statistics and advanced analytics crowd accusing us of dehumanizing the players and accusing us of you know, wanting them to be robots and things like that when they are the ones who actually want the players to be robots and not speak about these things and just shut up and play. And it's completely lost on them. And I hope that this is something that continues. I hope the players continue to stand out. I hope that the league continues to take a stand. I hope that teams continue to do things like the Boston Red Sox painting a Black Lives Matter mural um, on the stadium that faces the street, um, like the Tampa Bay Rays, um, 
donating $100,000 to a charity, um, things like that. I hope that continues to happen because, you know, Leonard, you're ruining my video. You know, the, these players as role models, as, 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 as public figures who are facing the, you know, the, the kids who look up to them and the, the fans who support them, um, I think it's so important that they, that their voices, you know, just be heard. Also, I'm going to leave a few links in the description of either podcasts or articles that um, I really hope that you will read and kind of support the idea of, you know, the player speaking out and why it, it is so important that we, you know, intertwine, you know, politics and sports because they, they really are one and the same. And I think, you know, if people aren't going to listen to the people that they interact with on a daily basis, at least they can interact with sports figures who, you know, they do see in the public realm. So anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Um, I just, I wanted to kind of speak on this topic and let it be known how I feel about everything that's going on. Um, tomorrow, I hope to, Leonard, tomorrow I hope to release a video that's a little bit more lighthearted. I do want to release, release a video talking about my predictions for the season. Uh, I do want to release a video talking about um, who I think are some teams and players who are underrated, who are some overrated, uh, who are some that are overrated. Whatever, we're just going to go with it. This season is going to be super weird, and I am so excited for it, um, and I am excited to talk with you guys about it. So, um, you know, again, I haven't said this in a while. If you like the content and you're excited for to hear me talk about this season, barrel up that subscribe button, and um, yeah, let's get it.